Monday Thursday service here at OSL at Holy Communion. Good Friday is 7 o'clock service, and next Sunday is Easter. And we invite everyone to an absolutely fabulous Easter breakfast that will take place from about 9.30 to 10.30, followed by festive Easter worship at 10.45. There are other announcements in the bulletin. Please take note of that. The OSL uh, Spring Supper is coming around the corner, and uh, we'll be having that also here at the church on April 24. Uh, do we have any other announcements or prayer requests? With no further announcements, let us continue, and I invite you to stand. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Our processional gospel is taken from Luke, the 19th chapter. After he had said this, Jesus went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethany and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of the disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why are you untying it, just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it, as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. And as he rode along, the people kept spreading their cloaks on the road, and he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives. The whole multitude of disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. The blessing of the palms. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross so that joined to his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we join together in singing our processional hymn, All Glory, God, and Honor, hymn number 344. <laughs> Children made sweet hearts on us reign. You are the King of Israel and David's royal son. Now in the Lord's name coming, our King and blessed. Oh, 
company of angels are praising you on high. Creation and all mortals in chorus make reply. All glory, Lord, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hopes on a sing, the multitude of pilgrims with palms before you went, our praise and prayer and anthems before you be present. The glory, Lord, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hearts on us reign. To you before your passion they sang their hymns of praise. To you now I exalted our melody we praise. glory, Lord, and honor to you, Children made sweet calls on us their praises you accepted, accept the praise we bring. Great author of all goodness, for good and gracious King.
Good morning, everyone. Has it been a good Easter season so far? Yes, it has been great. Does it ever seem like Easter is a complicated holiday? Sometimes it's hard to understand it all. We have Lent and Lenten suppers, Easter bunnies, chocolate eggs, and Easter eggs. Why don't we look at Lent and Easter in little pieces? Yes, that would be awesome. I know. Let's look at the ABCs of Lent and Easter. Good idea. That'll break it up into 26 pieces. Okay, let's go. What's first? A is first, of course. Would someone like to tell us about letter A? A. Angel. There was an angel in Jesus' tomb to tell the women that he wasn't there. Excellent job. Yes, angel is terrific. Does someone have an idea for letter B? Barbarius was a very, very bad man who killed and stole and did other bad, terrible things. He was supposed to be crucified, but the crowd warned him, parted, and said Jesus type thing. Yes, that is exactly right. So Barabbas is our B for Easter. What about C? There are a lot of C's. Christ, crucifixion, cross, and criminals. But Christ is the, is the most important of all those C words. Another C word, the cross, remains a powerful symbol of Christianity to this day. It sure does. What about D? Donkey. Jesus asked his disciples to find a donkey so he could ride into Jerusalem on his triumphal entry. Go into the village over there, he told them. As you enter it, enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. D also stands for denied. Peter denied Jesus three times before the rooster crowed. So we have two creatures, a donkey and a rooster, to go with our D. Now time for E. E is for Easter, but another great E word is eternity. Because of Easter, we can live forever in heaven. E is for excellent job. F? Easter is all about forgiveness. It is the most important part. Jesus forgave our sins, and he also asked God to forgive those who mistreated him at his crucifixion saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. We can learn so much from her example. G. Gethsemane is the garden where Jesus went to pray just before his arrest, but the hill on the picture represents Golgotha. Wow, that was a tough one. Good job. Now what about H? Hosanna. Hosanna, after Jesus rode into Jerusalem on that donkey, people around him by singing praises and waving tree branches. Hurrah! That is another way to say Hosanna. Next letter. Iscariot is the name of Judas who betrayed Jesus. Okay, next, J. Joseph of Arimathea. He was a wealthy man who gave his tomb to Jesus. Yes, that was money well spent. Letter K. K 
king, the Bible says above his head. They placed their written charge against him. This is Jesus, the king of Jews. He is also called king of kings and lord of lords. Lord of lords leads us right into L. Well, Lent, of course, also the Last Supper. Jesus and his followers had bread and wine at the Last Supper. Jesus wanted to share the Passover meal with them, too. They would remember him. We still do that today when we have communion in our service. We sure do. How about M? And Mr. Mary's in the Easter story and also from morning when they discovered the empty tomb, but I am going to say Malchus. When Jesus was arrested, Peter cut off the ear of one of the soldiers, but Jesus put it back on and healed him. Another M word, miraculous. And? Well, I could say nails for when they nail him to the cross, but I want to introduce someone here, Nicodemus. He was a respected member of the Jewish government who visited Jesus secretly at night to ask him spiritual questions. He also helped Joseph of Arimathea to prepare Jesus' body for the tomb. He was there in the nick of time. How about you, O? Open when the woman arrived at the tomb on the morn on the morning of the third day it was open. With a stone that big and heavy, it really was a miracle that it rolled away. Okay, what starts with P? He was a Roman ruler who was in charge at the time of Jesus' crucifixion. P also stands for paradise. Jesus told one of his one of the criminals he was crucified with. Today you will be with me in paradise. Yes, paradise is another name for heaven. Q? Quickly, Jesus looked right at Judas as they dipped bread together, together during the Last Supper and said, What you are about to do, do quickly. He knew Judas would betray him. Also, quiet. Jesus went to the garden that G talked about for a quiet time to talk to God before all the horrible, awful things happened to him. Quickly and quietly. I'll remember those key words. Our robe. The soldiers put a purple robe on Jesus. Purple stood for royalty. They acted like he was a king and mocked him. After Jesus was crucified, the soldiers took his clothes and divided them up up so that all four of them would have Jesus' clothing. Thank you. How about letter S? Do I ever have a lot of S words? Spear, soldier, a sponge soaked in vinegar for when Jesus said, I thirst, spices. Like the woman, like the woman took to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body. Simon and Cyrene, who carried the cross for Jesus. Silver, because Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Okay, T, what do you have for us? Okay, I was going to say tomb, but I guess I'll have to say something else that caused Jesus' Jesus pain. Thorns. It really makes me sad that Jesus' only crown on earth was made of thorns. I, I bet it really hurt, too. It does when I poke my finger on a rose. Yes, Jesus was brave, but he suffered because he really loved us all. Letter U. Upper room. That's where Jesus and his disciples went for their last supper. Also up, Jesus came from the grave. At least that is what we always sing in church. Yes, well, that is what we sing in. But we know that Jesus was laid to rest in a rock tomb, not buried in the ground. But you were very clever to think of that. You is a hard one. Now letter V. Veil. Matthew chapter 27 verses 51 states that when G Jesus was crucified, the veil of the temple was torn into two from bottom to top. The veil was a heavy curtain which separated the Holy of Holies from the rest of the temple. Only p 
priests could go in there. When the veil tore open, it meant anyone could go to God at any time. That means another V word is victory. Absolutely. He won the victory for all of us who believe. W? Washed. Jesus washed the disciples' feet to show them he was a servant to them at the Last Supper. Yes, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Now this next letter is a hard one. X. Extra. We are extra special because Jesus died for us. You know that is a bit of a reach, but it's still very good. Letter Y. Yellow. Easter sunrise is always bright yellow, a happy color. The woman went to Jesus' tomb early in the morning on the third day, and that is how they knew that he had risen. Every Even today, many churches hold Easter sunrise services to remember this joyful event. Great job. Now Z. This was a tough one. Z is the ending and Easter is the beginning. Zapped is what I finally came up with. When Jesus was crucified, he zapped the power of sin death. Zapped indeed. What a fitting ending to our A to Z journey. How about a song to close?
as we celebrate this season. Thank you so very much. And as they find their way back to this, their seats, we will join in singing two verses of Right On, Right On in Majesty. I know I
So all through the week they came and dumped their bottles in, dumped their bottles in. Now it's interesting because everybody came with a bottle that was kind of darkened, so you couldn't see the wine. Well, the king came, they gave him a chalice, they opened the spigot, and what did they find? Do you know what poured out of that vat? True story, my friend. Water. These people thought, you know what? The neighbor's going to bring the best wine. I'll just pour water in and we'll all just kind of come together. How about in our lives? Behold the Lamb of God. We kind of give God the leftovers. You know, we look at our schedule and we say, wow, it's a busy week. Or do we give God the best? Because he has given us the best. Finally see the cross. We have in the front of our sanctuary a cross that is here. Now, the cross did not become a symbol of the church until about the 4th century with Constantine. Prior to that, it was actually a symbol of fear. Because in Jesus' day, if you were a criminal, a murderer, or someone who was kind of going to have just a horrible death, you would go out to a place like Golgotha. They would have a pole already in the ground, and you would carry your own crossbar, which would weigh about 100 pounds, and there you would be hung. We know from studying Jewish history that during the time of Jesus, there were at least 20,000 crucifixions that took place. That means your neighbor could be out there hanging on the cross. The cross became a symbol during Constantine's time of the Christian church. A reminder to us of the great gift that God has given to us in Jesus Christ. That he has made it possible so that no longer, like in the Old Testament, does the priest have to pray you can pray. No longer does the priest just enter the Holy of Holies. You come into the Holy of Holies. A huge door was opened up with the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it all is found on the cross, on Christ giving his life on our behalf. The ABCs of Easter. God is able Behold the Lamb of God and the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we continue our service by singing our hymn, Go to Dark Gethsemane, hymn number 347. Oh, 
bringt. Denn es vanished him high. Learn from Jesus Christ to die. Early hasten to the tomb where they laid his breathless clay. All is all is risen, he returns, Savior, teach us so to rise. And in thanksgiving for all that God has done, we receive our tithes, gifts, and offerings. In the splendor of what you have made, 
show us your care for everything, both great and small. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Rescue those who suffer torture and free those held captive by others. Bring to light the hidden symptoms that perpetuate injustice among your people. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Pour courage and hope into people who feel like they are wasting away in distress and grief. We pray especially for Marilyn and Beth, Robin, Elise, Dale, Landon, David, and the families of Larry and Linda and those whom we name in our hearts before you. Restore their trust in you, even as you meet their every need. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Open our hearts and minds to receive the words that you speak. Give us words to encourage the weary and to sustain one another in word and deed. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. In this season of change, O oh God, as we move from winter into spring, we look to you for favorable weather, and we ask that you'll be with those who are dealing with the flooding aspect. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We give you thanks, O oh God, for the children of our community and of our congregation. We pray your blessing upon families as we enter this holy week and Easter season. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Gather your saints into the new covenant that Christ has established for all creation. When we fall into sin, continually renew us until Christ dwells with us in fullness. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Attend to the needs of the whole world with your saving grace. And lead us all into new life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. And the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. God who fills the creation with abundance. Christ, who spreads his arms in forgiveness. Holy Spirit, who draws ever near to us. Bless you and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace. Remember the poor. Thanks be to God. And please take a few minutes following our service to thank the children of our congregation for the Easter program. And uh, note again the services that are coming here for Holy Week. Easter breakfast next Sunday at 9 30 with worship at 10 45. We join in singing our closing hymn, Lift High the Cross. Christ broke 
Till all the world. 